Hello Pisces. How are you? Oh boy. Happy new moon in Leo. Mm, so Pisces for you, Leo is your sixth house. This is the house of your health. This is the house of your daily habits. And also um, uh, your like workmates. People that you work with. And hidden enemies, by the way. So also hidden enemies. Yep. So, sixth house, new moon. What seeds are we sowing for this new moon? <clears throat> Maybe you're working on your heart health. Maybe you're working on some new habits. Regardless, make it something that you love. Make it something that makes your heart sing and make it something creative, colorful, or generous. Pisces, Pisces. Okay. Mm -hmm. underneath <clears throat> okay Pisces there is an incredibly important decision underlying this reading we have the ten of swords crossed by the king of pentacles both reversed so that decision is an ending that you are afraid of and it may or may not be regarding this King of Pentacles. And this could be somebody that's around you, or this could actually be your attitude about it. You could be rather pig-headed and stubborn, or they, they, you know, take whatever resonates more for you. They could be rather pig-headed and stubborn. Um, <clears throat> or manipulative or possessive, actually. This is Taurus energy. Taurus. They could be rather possessive. Um, and that could be why it's difficult to end it. Uh, almost like you're going to need to tear yourself away. Main influence. Fortitude. Fuck yes. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. So Pisces. Right now, you are imbued with the fiery, passionate, loving, creative, magnanimous energy of Leo. Use it. What's strengthening fortitude? The Four of Swords. Rest from strife. Mm. Weakening fortitude? The Five of Wands reversed. Interesting. Okay. Because you have given yourself enough time to rest, to meditate, to, I don't know, grieve, to chill out, relax, you're able to burn with a fiery passion. I love it. That's beautiful. What's weakening fortitude is five of wands reversed. So... Because you are avoidant right now, because you're trying to escape, to run away, to not deal with this, um, it's ultimately undermining the health of your heart, really. 
every time you run from the fight, avoid the fight, avoid the confrontation. You weaken your heart. What's conscious to you? The Three of Pentacles. What's unconscious to you? The Eight of Cups. What? Hey. That's a Pisces card. I did not mean to flip you off. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. You are aware of something. <laughs> You're aware that something is very hard work. <laughs> Yes, yes, it is. It is it is a lot of hard work. Not gonna lie. It's it's very difficult to tear yourself away from something that is ultimately seriously hurting you. But you need to. But you need to. Or, you know, you could be aware of some amazing opportunities at work or wonderful things that you could be building if you were able to use this energy in other ways. But right now, there's something that is very, like, it's, 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 it's putting up a stable front, but it's not. And it is not, it's not helpful to allow those kinds of things to stick around. Uh, to continue to drain your energy when you could be putting it into more constructive, better uh, projects, really. So this could be a secret enemy that you're dealing with. Like I said, Leo, sixth house, secret enemies. Uh, or, you know, it, it could be somebody else. Doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that you work with. This could be a relationship. It could be multiple things. But anyway, what are you unconscious of? What's in the white pillar? We have the Eight of Cups. Abandon success. Abandon all ye. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Damn. Sounds like you need to uh, release some hope. It might be uh, not serving you. This could, also, uh, this could also be fears or premonitions. You might actually be afraid of abandonment yourself. Oh, that's probably it. Yeah. Okay. When we approach relationships with this underlying fear of abandonment, what ends up happening usually, not always, but usually, is we never want to attach to people that we don't, that aren't actually that great for us so if you have a fear of abandonment you likely don't have a very um stable uh yeah stable um attachment style so if you're like anxious avoidant or i'm i'm gonna forget all of the different types so uh skip that skip that if you're very anxious and you're afraid of abandonment. You pick people that aren't necessarily all that great for you. To begin with, number one. And then cling, right? Uh, or, or run away. <laughs> it's a, you tend to swing to either extreme. So if you're already afraid of abandonment, that could be why you're also afraid of letting go actually the underlying fear ultimately is afraid is a fear of being alone but I tell you this if this relationship is based on say uh well for lack of a better term matrixy things so security if it's based in security you're just with them so that you feel secure um nurtured or cared for or if it's based on maybe shared interests probably security because it's the king of pentacles um but there's nothing else to the relationship 
like don't share activities in common, right? Uh, maybe share some shared values. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, you know, um, I mean, values, okay, that's a little less matrixy, but, <laughs> but so if you're just, if you're just together because you do things together and you like some of the same things, but you're, they're not on the same, um, kind of journey or quest, or they're not lit by the same spiritual fire that you are, if they're not actively pursuing that in the same way that you are, then it's not something that you want to keep around really ultimately but if you're afraid of being abandoned um your value isn't isn't your value in yourself isn't really high enough that you can comfortably walk away from them then you're likely to stick to to stay to um avoid the fight and uh, allow somebody that's ultimately leeching to leech, right? You may even be hyper fixated and focused on work as a means to escape dealing with this. And ultimately your heart, your main influence right now, this spiritual fire, it's kind of like just resting in the background, waiting for you, waiting for you to use it, waiting for you to unleash it. All right, so the next two cards. This is potential future outcome. And then the very last card is Secret of the High Priestess. And I don't tell you what it is until the end. Oh, yeah, lovers on the bottom. Right. Right. It's time for you to go on your journey. <laughs> Slay the beast. Okay. Yep. So potential future outcome. That's hilarious. You need to go on your journey. You, you need to go into the underworld. You need to... Uh, actually, back to what I was saying about... Uh, being afraid to be alone it's really uh, we're, we're afraid to be lonely but it's really a fear of aloneness because then you're sitting with yourself but you're uh, avoiding that right now you need to do that pisces be more pisces <laughs> that's not really what i mean that's not really what i mean but i do mean that <laughs> You need to, uh, I'm sorry, I'm preaching. <laughs> I'm preaching. You could be building. You could be building. And you know this. You already know this. You could You could be, or already are, engaged in some beautifully constructive things. And that's wonderful. Um, but are you building with somebody that is actually going to be able to follow through and build with you? Um, or would you rather somebody that can actually build with you, right? So, you may need to go through a period of cutting things loose and then being alone uh, to heal. To heal, right. The last card is not a major arcana, so I can't flip it and tell you what it is. Uh, it's not something that the uh, High Priestess deems you need to know right now. It won't be helpful in solving this. That's really what it is. So, um, anything else for Pisces? It seems to be that rest strengthens you. So, if you're not sure what to do, um, and I'm sorry for telling you what to do. I, I don't really mean to do that. I get excited. <laughs> I get excited. But <laughs> if you're not sure what to do, which decision to make, then at, at least allow yourself some, some uh, space. Some space and some time. 
um, away from the things that are draining you so that you can check in with yourself and uh, hopefully you'll get a hint from your self-conscious telling you that what you're afraid of is actually what you need to do. So you can go on this journey. That's the decision. Okay, Pisces. Have a good new moon. Good luck over the next few days. And hopefully you decide to sow some very positive seeds about your future. Peace. <laughs>